Hello again, I'm Rahanna and we are playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. Sorry about the long delay between videos, I have finally finished playing Xenoblade, so now I can get back to doing other things with my life. Um, definitely was playing that like a full-time job almost, so uh, that really ate up all my gaming time. But it's done, so now we can get back into here and play more with Kuya. If you remember last time, it was the scene on the rooftop where Yuki was comforting Kuya after Hattori was a big jerk to him. And this is the scene afterward where Yuki goes back to his room at the end of the day. But this scene ends up being quite a bit longer than expected and has some interesting developments. So we'll continue right from here. <laughs> Sorry about that, I didn't realize I had it set to a uh, dramatic mode and it's just playing by itself there, but what Yuki was saying is, despite what I said, after all, I can't sleep. I never thought something like this would happen, so still thinking back on just everything that happened that day, all that shocking stuff, it was supposed to be a good day because they had won the second round of the Bell One. And then Ninosuke showed up and just really did a number on them. And I thought he'd left it to me. Or did he think that he couldn't leave being the student council president to someone who lost the armband? But the armband was stolen. Stolen. Kuya-san was definitely not, Although Kuya-san said he absolutely wouldn't, it's possible Hattori-san stole the armband. Which seems kind of obvious as an explanation. I mean, how else would he have it? But from the little scene that we saw, it kind of almost dropped on him out of nowhere. Someone pretty much tossed it at him. He found it by chance. He didn't even see where it came from. So we as the player know that he didn't steal it. He was had it given to him by whoever did steal it. And we know who that is, but I won't say because uh, people may be watching these videos out of order. That would be a spoiler. That there. No matter how I think of it, there's definitely a higher possibility that he did it than anyone else, isn't there? But... For the sake of the school, so this paradise doesn't fall into the devil's hands. His very dramatic opening. I thought he meant Joker-san, but maybe he meant the board. And in that case... So we have to make a choice about what Yuki thinks, what he decides here. Maybe he sold his soul to the devil, or Hattori-san wouldn't steal it. So we are going to be confident in him because Kuya is confident in him. Is it possible that he realized the board was up to something suspicious? And then in that case, the devil would be the board. That could be it. And in that case, he wouldn't have stolen it. But... He didn't have to say, I stole it just because of that. Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> it's so depressing. Oh. Sorry about that. He was saying, I need a change of mood. So Yuki goes out onto his balcony. Shizo. Leo. I wonder which one it is. So he's remembering from way back at the beginning with Kuya and the umbrella talking about the constellations. Maybe I'll ask Kuya-san. But it's already 11. Maybe he's already asleep. But it should be okay just a little bit. And that's the weird sound that they use for a phone ringing. Mm? The sound's coming from below me. Oh. And here's Kuya outside the dorm. What's the matter so late? You too, what are you doing out there? Oh, it's nothing. How do you know what I'm doing? Look up, look up. 
Oh, なるほど。Oh, I see. そっち行っていい ?Can I come over there? うん。食堂の窓を開けてあるから、そこからこっそり出てきたまえ。Yeah, the window in the cafeteria is open, so sneak out through there. So the students at this school have a bit of a history of sneaking out and doing whatever they want.、Uh, Kazuki was kind of infamous for that. For,、uh, with good reason. He had to get out so he could do his real work after classes. Make sure Dora chan doesn't see you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So outside here. Hey, no one saw you, right? Um, No, it's fine. But going out in the middle of the night like this, because. Yuki's only been going here for such a short time, and he's such a good boy, I'm sure he wouldn't even think of doing this sort of thing normally. Dora chan wa haya ne haya oki da karana. Shizuka ni dereba, igai to bare nai zo. Dora chan is early to bed and early to rise, so if you get out quietly, you won't be discovered. Seems like the students know what's what and how to get around their,、uh, their RA there. Daga, yoru osoku made nokotte ita sensei ni mitskaru to. ものすごく怒られることもあるから気をつけたまえ。But, but Understood. So, what are you doing? Hattori san? It's Hattori san. 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 まさに闇夜のカラスというやつだな。He's exactly like a crow on a dark night. And I don't know if they're this is a saying or if they make these word choices because of the, the school itself. The school has a pretty large population of crows and it gets mentioned a few times throughout several of the、uh, game scenarios. Not just in this game, but in the original also in the fan disc. So I wonder if he's being compared to a crow on purpose because they're. Are crows at the school and they have been mentioned before. Well, I knew I wouldn't find him. What about you? It's rare that you call me. Well, it's the stars. Stars. Well, you told me before, didn't you? Leo is visible in the southern sky. どれかわかんなくてさ。I thought I'd look for it, but I don't know which one it is. で、聞こうと思ったんだ。So I thought I'd ask you. そうか。I see. 見えるかな ?I wonder if it's visible. うーん。ここは木が茂っているからな。Well, there's a lot of trees here. そうだ、ユキ。少し散歩をしないか。I know. Why don't we take a little walk? 海まで行けば、きっと見えるぞ。If we go to the ocean, I'm sure it'll be visible. <laughs> so, this is the bridge that is the only connection between the school and the outside world, and we've seen this location a couple of times before. I don't think we've seen it at night yet. It's all these weird things set up to prevent erosion, I think, and then in the background there you can see the quote unquote town, which looks a little bit more like a city to me. And of course, all the lights on the bridge keeping things lit up at night. Though the, the bridge、uh, can go up, you can see the, the wires there. So the bridge is down right now. And、um, kind of limits people's ability to go in and out. But it does get closed. There's a gate at the end also that prevents people from entering the school after hours. And I believe 11 o'clock is definitely after hours. So there's not going to be any traffic on the bridge. Anyway. This is the first time I've seen the sea at night. 
You're not cold? I'm fine. Where's Leo? Is it that one above? No, at this hour, it's in a lower position in the western sky. That's it. And notice they've gotten a little closer here, so it's kind of representing, I'm sure, Kuya is leaning in and kind of pointing over Yuki's shoulder to give him an idea of where to look. Do you recognize it? Is it that kind of bright star? So. Right, that's Regulus. It's the brightest star in Leo. And you called it the heart of a lion. I'm surprised you remembered that. Well, it was cool. And Regulus is also called by another name, Corleonis. Regulus means little king and Corleonis means heart of the lion. Both of them fit you perfectly. Where? Like how? How does that fit me? Because you're the heart of Bell Liberty and my little king. By the way, I'm your knight. <laughs> King and knight, that's like Joker-san and Chiba-san. Which is very true. Maybe I'm no match for Chiba-senpai. Well, it's perfect since I'm no match for Joker-san either. I see. It's perfect, huh? Yeah, if you called me Sama like Chiba-san, I don't know what I would do. That's what's really good about you. What's good about me? You don't exalt or humble yourself. Since you don't deceive yourself, it feels nice to watch you. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal. This school is full of amazing people. And this reason for liking Yuki has come up um, at least once before, where uh, Sakaki said he likes Yuki because he doesn't have an inflated opinion of himself. He doesn't think of himself as better than others just because he's at this school or for any other reason. Which makes him quite likable. And of course, uh, someone like Kuya, who is very interested in Yuki, would notice that as well. There'd be no point in trying to show off. You say that because you're a person of high caliber. It's the caliber of a king. <laughs> You're praising me way too much. That's not true. In the first place, Leo is the constellation of kings. So I think it was fate that you became student council president. If you say that, then everyone who's Leo has to become the student council president. <laughs> well, that's true. But you really are suited to being the student council president. Probably more than Ninosuke. And this is the point at which I was convinced that Hinosuke would jump out and kill Yuki or something, because he's a ninja. But he doesn't. I wonder. That I can manage it all is thanks to you and Takato-san. What's the matter? Did you see it just now? A shooting star. What? Damn, I missed it. 
大丈夫この学園が廃校になんかならないようちゃんと願っといた It's okay I made sure to wish that the school wouldn't close I don't think that's what Kuyo would have wished for 偉い That's excellent さすが君はラッキーだな After all you are lucky <laughs> どうも Thank you だから So 何もかもうまくいくよきっと Everything will go well I'm sure of it そうだな。Yeah, that's right. きっと。I'm sure of it. And that ends the scene. So, sweet little scene to kind of soften up the, the harsh day that they had. Kind of brings things back to the, the happier feeling that they had after, after winning the Bell One. I mean, still, still have a lot of issues to deal with with you know, Ske and the armband and all that other stuff, but thanks to. The player's guidance, Yuki has decided that he is going to trust Ninosuke in, in some way. I mean, not completely, he's not going to be a fool about things, but he is going to assume that he's not as malicious as he might seem, which is good. I'm, I'm glad that he does that because, as the player, I have a hard time doing that. I don't, I don't like Ninosuke. And. He's, he's annoying and he's gonna get more annoying, but it's, it's good to see Yuki having faith in everyone equally and not just assuming that Ninosuke is quote unquote bad because of the evidence and the circumstances and how things seem. He tries to find out the truth. So, good boy. Very nice. And of course, you can see that Kuya would be attracted to that sort of person who is selfless. Who likes to give to other people, as opposed to Ninosuke, who I think he has some sort of crush on, which may not have completely faded yet. And Ninosuke likes to take from people and be a little energy vampire and just kind of suck you dry until there's nothing left of you and you're just a mess. Kind of like Kuya. So that ends this scene, and the next scene will pick up with. I believe it's the next day. Yeah, it'll be the next day, so it'll skip ahead to June 14th. That's just the very next day in game. And I hope you will come back for more Gakko in Heaven 2. And I promise there will be more videos faster from now on, now that I am no longer distracted by other things like Xenoblade, which you should play because it was great.、Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.